Hello, this is Rebecca here, and I'm back with another video on how I'm going to set up my personal planner for the week. And um, I'm going to be using my latest um, kitty kit. It's the Cat's Meow. And so I thought I would kind of also show you exactly what's in this, pack, this stationary planner kit as well. So let's go ahead and get it open. And inside, it's kind of a black and white themed kit and it comes with these um, pin back buttons and they actually have, let me show you what they are on the back, they can actually be pinned to a planner bag or pinned to a lapel or your book bag. I actually have made these into paper clips and I'll show you how I did that here shortly. So they come with four, four of these pin back buttons and one is a striped heart button one is Maggie print meow and then these are just actually little prints of the cats meow kit cats if that makes sense it's um, little polka dots and in each side each polka dot is one of the art prints um, this is a kit that is made from my um, original pieces of art there they are copies of them on on laser printed paper so they're very high quality prints these are actually project life cards that come in the pack and you have Maggie Mrs. P Mr. Fluffers Mr. P see there are a couple here let me show you I know silly right but aren't they cute and then you have um, cat lady then you have a Hemingway quote one cat just leads to another Sorry, as a true cat lady, that is so true. I have two cats, which Mr. Fluffers and Maggie are my kitties. And I have to control myself not to get more kitties. Okay, so Meow. We've got Squigglies. We've got a journaling card. And then here are, the again, the polka-dotted um, kitties. So those come in the kit as well. And they're, they're printed on very heavy cardstock. So these would be great for punching holes in and then putting into your planner and I plan on doing that so I'll show you that here in just a moment. The next thing that comes in the kit are these um, the stickers and there's three sheets of stickers and they are these circle stickers which are the cat's meow and these are printed on the glossy print paper a washi, washi strip uh, cat themed so each one of these are uh, washi strips and then you have the square that fit in your happy planner but um, will also that's the size that they are made but they are also can be used on personal planners and I'll show you how I'm going to use those today and then also inside the kit is this um, Traveler's Notebook, <clears throat> excuse me, standard size. It is printed on, this is the design that we created with the stripes and the heart, and inside is blank sheets of paper for doodling, making notes. Um, I use one of these. I have a Traveler's Notebook that I use as well, so this is awesome for taking notes, and um, also I sometimes just stick it in my purse, and, and this is what I use for um, jotting down notes, grocery lists, and those kind of things. The kit also comes with a black Le Pen. Love the Le Pens. And then these are a cute little uh, clip that I made. It comes with this as a Meow cardstock. But this is a um, little clip that I made using tool and a pom pom. And isn't that adorable? So that is also part of the kit. So also, I'm going to show you today. I went, okay, so last week I bought a blue Red Collections planner. And let me move some of this stuff out of the way here so we can focus on the planner. And um, actually, to be quite honest with you, I love this planner. I like the quality of it. I don't feel like it gets dirty, I guess, so to speak. Like, I'm not worried about it getting, I don't know, it's just a real sturdy type planner. And I'm really, I didn't worry about it as much as I did some of my, especially my yellow. I'm always so worried about it getting dirty. But this one seems like... I don't know if you marked it up it wouldn't be as bad or something I'm not sure how to explain it but it's just a feel for it so 
I took my coupon and I went and bought me a black one. And I never would have thought I would have got black because I love colors, but especially with this week's theme, I thought it would be perfect for um, using the cat prints. So let me open it up for you. And this is, um, these were $20 at Michael's. And ooh, got some sticky. I'm going to have to work on getting that off of there. Um, these were $20 at Michael's, but I used my 50% coupon and got it for $10. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. And so I'm going to take everything out. And inside each of these um, planners is they have little inserts that you can buy that are actually are not that expensive, $14.99. And so you could take your coupon back in there like the next day or something like that. And um, and buy those if you wanted to. But actually $14.99 is not that bad. But I've already had my inserts. But this is what comes with it. It has different um, the different tags. Uh, heavy this heavy plastic and then it comes with to-do list and graph paper oh it also has line paper in the back I didn't realize they had line paper so that's what comes in inside the recollections and let me sh we're gonna do a switch over so this is my last week's and we're gonna move everything over there but let's go ahead and get the 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 dividers made. So I went ahead and pre-cut the dividers here. We're going to do these colors. I kind of thought that they would go well with these stickers. Get my stickers out. So I kind of went with you know some of the colors that are in here. And then I last week I kind of showed you also me using these um, polka dots. And what it is, it's paper. This is paper that has the big polka dots. And I use a one and a half inch punch. And I punch this out like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I actually punch two of each because I'm going to use one for the backing and one for the front of these. And I'm going to actually go ahead and get, um, write these out. So I use my daily, weekly, monthly, and notes. So I'm going to go ahead and get these going because I use this, um, Let's see here. It's a glaze pen. So sometimes it takes a little um, while to dry. Let's see if I can kind of get it going here. And that way this will give it time to, um, to dry before I'm ready to assemble. Of course it's not wanting to work here. Let's see here. Put daily. For some reason, it's kind of being stubborn. Let's just go ahead and I'm going to um, see if this will show up. Kind of acts like it's got a clog on it or something. If that doesn't work, we'll go to Plan B and use a black, use the black marker. So I'm going to set those aside and see if those are going to work for us. Um, if not, I'll go in and use the black. Okay, so to make the dividers, we're going to use these stickers, these little square stickers, and I'm going to actually use them to place on the front up here. But I am very big on having like an abstract background to it, so I'm going to go ahead and I took the extra paper that was left over, and I'm just going to kind of cut these into squares. And what I'm going to do is use the back side as a guide. Actually what I'm going to do is come in here and put a sticker on here. Let me coordinate what we're going to do. So I thought with the orange I would do the orange cat and I'm going to use a blue, the blue background. So kind of get an eyeball. I'm going to come in here and just use this background as a guide for cutting. Let's see if that's going to be big enough. Need a little bit bigger. Need a little bit bigger. Actually, let's do something else. This may be a better idea. Why don't I come in here and add him so I have an idea where I want him to be. And then I'll come in here and cut. That's better. That works out better. Oh, 
There we go. So I'm going to put him. Oh, doesn't he look cute with all that? I love the mixture of the the squares and the triangles. And I'm going to use my Super Duty Extreme Glue. Love this glue. It works out really good for um, for projects that you have that you want to. Um, see, is this extra sheet of paper? It, it works out really good for um, projects that you need extra strength and actually I use it on all my journaling and all my scrapbooking and stuff like that because I, I want it to stick so come in here and just kind of line him up like that did I get glue on this side right here I don't think I did And I use this paper so I can go beyond and not make everything else messy. There we go. Okay. So he's all set. Oh, look. This worked out fine. So the daily... Okay, so the pen is working fine. Like I said, it, that's why it takes a little while to dry. So I'll come back in there and do that. Let's go ahead and get this part done. So got him done. So my next one is going to be the green... And the blue. Okay, so I'm going to use Mr. P for the blue. And to contrast him, I'm going to use the orange. Actually, I'm going to use the green because he's got a green background. So maybe that will look pretty neat. Just make sure that all the other ones are going to work. So we did blue, we got green, then we're going to have orange and pink left. Okay. So we're going to come in here and pull him off, put him on there, like that. You can definitely use a paper cutter. Um, I'm actually using the guide to these, on these diamonds on here, as a way to um, cut those out. Put glue down the middle, make sure the edges get done this time. him onto here. There we go. And then we'll just do the same for the others. So we're going to do, I'm going to do green and pink, whoops, and orange and pink. Maggie. And she's such a cute little kitty. She does. She's got a um, phobia of being clean. I mean, the, I've never ever seen a cat that cleans themselves so much. And so she's always licking herself. So I had to make her little portrait. Um, her licking herself. Tell you a funny cat story. How cats are, and I'm sure all uh, several pet, pets are like this, but. The other morning I was making my coffee and I happened to turn around and I felt someone staring at me and sure enough there was my fluffers staring at me with crazy eyeballs. I'm like, well good morning. <laughs> so he's a funny little kitty too. We actually call him our freaky kitty because he doesn't like strangers and he will like literally run like he's getting chased by something to get away from them and you can't look at him. Strangers can't look at him. He doesn't like it. It's really cute. Okay. So we have those like that. And then we're going to, let me come in here and see how cute they look. I'm going to come in here and go ahead and write in my, so since I wrote on that one, we're going to do, so I have my daily, my weekly, Pen is just interesting how it doesn't show up until it dries. But I really like the white. The white look against the colors. Okay, so we're going to let that one dry. Weekly, daily, monthly. I 
see a dirt dauber in here. It's a um, type of B. I have no idea how it got in here. And I, know, I heard it hitting the, um, um, the lighting. I'm like, oh, how did it get in here? With the not so cold winter, we didn't hardly have a freeze here in Texas. There are just bugs galore. And I'm not a, necessarily a bug person, so I don't like them, especially getting in the house. It just drives me crazy. So if you hear it and it comes buzzing by, it's just being weird. I'm going to have to get it after the video. Okay, so I have these. I'm going to go ahead and get these punched in. I'm going to punch and while those are drying. And I'm using a, I'm going to use a guide from my previous, what's in the previous one. For a guide here. And that way I have it lined up. So I'm going to come in here. Did you just see it? It buzzed by. It's got nerve, that, bu that bee. Why is it not? Let's see here. My thing acts like it's stuck. Maybe I've got too much. Let me clean this out real quick. I love this thing. Don't tell me it's not working. I'm going to have to bang here for just a minute, so excuse the noise. I don't know why it's stuck. You know, I did use it with washi earlier, so that could be part of the problem. Well, that's a heck of a note. Well, you know, there's always a plan B. You know what? There is washi stuck in these. And that might be why it's not working here. Okay, so plan B. We use the, the hand punch. I'll have to work on that afterwards. So I'm going to come in here and line these up like that. And I'm just going to kind of mark these and use a hand punch. Actually made the ones last week a little wider, it seems like. Real quickly here, do this. Yeah, I don't know. Um, sometimes, I don't know if anybody else has this problem, but they, um, but sometimes the, um, when you do washi, punching washi, it causes the hole punch to clog. I guess because it's sticky. But I've never had it happen on that one before. So I'm not sure what, um, what might have caused it. Okay, so we're going to punch these out just like that. Didn't mean for it to take this long to make a video. <laughs> I actually, when I'm getting my videos prepared to make, I will try to um, assemble everything. But I wanted to show exactly how I make my dividers each week. And I'm really hung on these um, circle ones. I've been doing that for several weeks now. And um, so I will continue probably for a while. Actually, though... I do have one idea that um, one of our groups, our planner addicts, ATX planner addicts, she um, she created a, she showed me some clouds, and I'm like, oh yeah, the clouds would be really cute. Okay, so my first one is daily, monthly, wait, no, daily, weekly, weekly, so weekly is going to have to go. Like this daily weekly I'm trying to do different colors because I don't want them all the same on there monthly and then notes okay so when I do these I'm gonna get my little backups here and you could either do um, see like on the back of these are the stripes so I may actually 
put the stripes on there. I get my trusty heavy duty glue here. Let me find another scrap piece of paper down here. And use it as a, as a backup here. So I'm gonna come in here and do my daily like that. I kind of use this as a guide. How far to do it like that. And I'm gonna come in here and add glue to the back side of this. And put it over the top of that. That way you have a really secure, heavy um, divider. So for my weekly, I'm going to use mine as a guide to, I've set these out like where I've kind of had it figured out where it really works. And so I just use, um, it has, use this, you know, the guide that I used last, um, last week as for this week to kind of figure out where I need to do it. Now if you're doing it for your first time at home or whatever, or when you're, when you're going to set yours up. You can um, you can kind of line them up, and, and you may have more tabs than just four, and just line them up and see what works for you. So basically, get them ready, and then put them in there, and then put the tabs, line them up like this, and then just come in here with the tabs and see the the correct distance for each one. I'm over here um, pulling out my the ones from the planner that I had last week, and so. I kind of want to keep um, keep them keep the inserts not combined, so I can show you how I'm going to fill up my black one. So the monthly will come in. Right about there. But going back to the different punches you can use, and actually, if you have a silhouette, that would be fun too, because you could do a ton of different designs. But I like to come in here and use different um, punches for your tabs. So you could use, um, make sure these are looking good. You could use your, um, you could use like the one that I was thinking and the one that um, the friend from our, our planner meetup sent me. Oops, sorry. Is, let me, sorry, I'm in hit the camera stand here is um, she was showing me how to use clouds and I thought oh clouds would be really cute to use so I have a kit coming up next month and I hope to be using that oh no uh oh I'm going to have to repunch this because it's not going to be the same I'll put it on the wrong side so let me take this punch out, this green, punch another one, and do it on this side. Okay. So while those are kind of drying, I'm going to go in here and show you some accessories that I have created. Okay, so we have the pens. The, I made paper clips out of these um, little pin backs. And how I did that was, I'll show you the backing of them, is I used this E6000. So I went in here with the button. So I, can find a, I went in here with this, like that. And the key that I found, I noticed with these bigger clips that really make them work, is if you take the pin, so say it has meow here, and you take the pin and you turn it to where it's straight up and down, like that. And then you place the, the paper clip on here. And what I would do is come in here with the glue and come down the strip of that, and then circle it around, set it down, Stick the glue on here and then I used a punch I think a three-quarter inch black uh, punch here to make the backing so you can actually use any color you wanted 
like say for instance if it was a green one and you had this green paper oh here's the black or the black so after you have the the glue and again this stuff is really um it can get stringy kind of but it's good stuff and it only took it with the heat in the winter i noticed it probably takes it about overnight a lot of times i would do it where i, I would do a project and just use it overnight but I would um, come in here and glue around here, stick it on there, and then I just glue this like that. So you have it covering that all that glue. And then I came in here and I used these little paper clips and I pinned it down like this. And then I just set it down and let it dry. And then this is what it looked like at the end. So it's very... Um, very sturdy this stuff is super strong so you're not going to have any problems with it coming undone but the key to me was getting that line down the middle and that way you have a resting spot for your paper clip on to take this one back apart you have a resting spot at the very top and then i kind of glued around the edges here and then put and then i also added glue to the back of the the black and then glued it down and then I put paper clips and now I had a problem with um, this one where the glue got on the surface so I just let it dry and then I came in here and I could, could scratch it off and it worked just fine so that's the idea that I have behind the pin back the other idea that I have that you can use the pin back for is your tassels or your um, let me get this other this pom pom that we have I actually got this at a planner meetup but you could come in here and pin it to your tassel I mean to your pom-pom and then um, your tassels so I think I'm going to use my a pink and black this week and let me come in here and get my get those one tassels that we I need mean, It's amazing how messy a person can get within a few seconds of, of, of messing around. Okay, so I'm having issues finding the pin, the, my little pin back buttons that I just had. Do Have you seen them? <laughs> so, but I'm going to go in here and I'm going to use this one that I have because I'm not sure what I did with those. I just had them a second ago. Okay, so I'm going to go in here and you can pin these to your tassel as well I just what I'm using is I'm just pinning it either through the top layer enough to hold it in there for the week like that so I thought you could do that or you know put it on your pom-pom or actually even put it on your planner bag if you have your planner bag that you carry with you so those are my ideas behind the pin backs. And then let's go ahead and get moving on filling up the planner. These should be dry by now. So let's see here. So we have our weeklies. Now for the, the front, the dashboard, I'm using a print that I have made that matches um, Maggie. And too bad my punch is not working because it, it goes perfectly with this. Um, so I'm just going to use this as another sample. I'm just using my weekly one this time. But let me see if my hand punch will go through. If not, I'm going to have to work on my dad, the, the three-hole punch. Let's see if I can... I may not be able to get it through. You know what? I know which one I can use. I'm going to use my heavy-duty... Uh, we are memory keepers. Um, I always call it alligator. I don't think that's what it's called, but... It's a heavy duty punch, so we're going to use the bigger, bigger side, and it will go through these fairly quickly. Basically, what I did was I took I took two pieces of what I've learned is cardstock is better to print on when you're doing your dashboards because if you don't have a backing regular regular like 
paper, it just isn't sturdy enough. I mean, it will work, but it's it's real floppy, and I like my dashboards real strong because I put post-it notes on the back. So, um, what I did was I took a another piece of thin paper, and then I had these printed on um, the thinner paper, and I just laminated it because I like to have it laminated as well. So I'm going to start with um, my dashboard. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and um, put my daily in there. Fill my daily up. And for my daily is my bullets. And so I already, um, I took the graph paper that came in the kit in the recollections and I just added washi and I stamped the dates using my um, date stamper. So I'm going to put these in there like that. And then my next one is my weekly setup. Those are right here. The weekly I kind of take out periodically as it as it gets time. I don't keep all my weeks in there, but my monthlies I do because I do reference going back to those. Actually, I'm going to split this up. I got a lot of notes in between, and so it's not exactly easy to put all this in with the different pieces of paper between the months. Okay, it's being a little stubborn. Like that. Okay, it's easier to do it when it's face down like that. Okay, so I'm going to close it, open it back up, come in here, put my notes in there, and then the final addition are my notes. And actually I added some, oh I see the lined paper now from the recollections. I really like that. But I love, which I'm going to order some more from the Yellow Paper House, these colored notebook, striped notebook paper that they're, because I like to kind of, you know, I love colors so I like to add it from week to week. Okay, so there we go. We have it all set up. Now I'm going to go in here and I want to make accessories. So I've kind of decided I'm going to go with this for my tassel this week. I might have to work on that dashboard a bit. It seems like I'm off. I'm really not happy about my six hole punch, but it is what it is. We'll have to work on it. So I'm going to come in here and add my tassel. And then for the other side, I, I bought these cute bows from Hobby Lobby and I thought they would be really cute especially since I'm kind of going with the black and white theme is to make a one of these into a clip so I'm going to use this one I think and these are actually made out of vinyl so I feel pretty good about having them poke out versus the paper ones because I'm a little sometimes if you put it in your bag to carry so it already has like a sticky little thing on the back but I'm going to come in here and reinforce it with um, with a punch and a uh, and hot glue with a punched out cardstock and hot glue. So I have my hot glue gun already heated up, and I'm just going to come in here and add a little bit of glue. There it goes to the top here like that. And then just kind of push it down. And what I might do is so it gets it all the way around the paper. Is I'm going to add it on there, and then I'm going to get my oh, it's hot. And then I'm going to get my little paper clip and hold it, hold it down like that. There we go. Well, let that dry for a bit, and then I have these cute little clips that my friend bought me. And they came from a company called Lady Pug on a Bug. And they're just 
she got me little kitties to match my um, my little cat so I'm gonna add those clips in there and then I want to show you real quick the monthly setup I went ahead and put it together earlier in the um, week and this is what I kind of used as my using my stickers so I put um, I put basically I used the backing the colored the polka dotted ones for backing and then I added the characters so I already did my monthly layout and then I also wanted to use um, my weekly layout I wanted to kind of pull it out and see what I have going on this week this was last week's and so let me pull this out and I'm going to just show you real quick real quick how I'm going to do this so I'm going to come in here with um, and this is what I mean by setting up prior I kind of have the washi that I plan on using in there this week and I am in love with this black and white washi with the the arrows and the little banner flag and so I'm going to use some of that in this week's I think I might use this little um, rain, these little, they're little black paint marks, but I think they look like little black raindrops. So I'm just going to come in here and add, I always put washi down the buttonholes. And you don't have to use the same washi. Let's get adventurous and use um, two different kinds. Sometimes I use the same and sometimes I use the difference. We're going to get adventurous this week. So then I just come in here and clip off those. Like that. I'll come in here and punch them here in just a minute. And then I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna use some of my washi from the kit to be put in this week. Now I really like this, like I said, I really like this black and white banner one. So I'm gonna come in here first and put it up. Maybe across this top here. Isn't washi great? I don't know what I did without we having washi. I think I just probably cut little bits of papers. You know, really, when I used to use my planner like a long time ago, it was full of just stickers. You know, who would have thought if I could have grabbed a, um, you know, the uh, bits of paper and added it? It's just such a great. I love having all this new stuff to add to your planner. I just wanted to show you real quick the washi. So you have Cat Lady, which is in black. This one is so cute. It is the kitties, and they're all lined up. They're little portraits. So it's just piece after piece of the kitties. I just love that. So I'm going to use that in here like this. Put it at the top. And then I'm going to use the other one down here. Like that. Then we can come in here, and I love all the black and white, so let's add some meow to it. This one, I like this sticker here. All you need is love and a cat. How cute is that? So, and a lot of times I keep these blank because as the weeks go on, I kind of track things. So I don't like to overfill it, but I do want to add a little bit more um, washi to it. And as I as the weeks go on. A lot of times I'll add bits of washi like that. And the thing with this washi, you can always save it for later. Like this piece, I'm going to have a little bit extra. 
So I'm going to put it back on here and save it for another project. Okay, so let's see here. We're going to add some of these kitties to it. I'm going to add this. Um, put orange and orange. That, and then let's add one more over here. I like using these little circles as a, um, um, kind of as a, uh, like a background, and then you can kind of cut it off as you, she needs something behind her with the meow for some reason, I don't, I think I'm going to do a little, just take off one of the little cat ladies. I don't like that I cut off that word at the end like that. That meow, it seems incomplete to me. But it is what it is, so I'm just going to put. I'm filming this on Monday, so Sunday's passed. I'm a little behind, but it was 4th of July weekend, so we did a lot of firework watching. And I actually have been cleaning, 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 and organizing this weekend, which has been great. Okay, so I have my little monthly layout with my kitty cats. And we're going to come in here. I'm going to go ahead and punch. I know that it's time consuming to do this single punch, but I'll have to work on that other one. And I'll finish putting my planner together for the week. Okay, so we have our week, our month, a weekly in there. Close it up. Okay, so now let's add. Let's see if this is dry. This is dry. I'm gonna add it. Point it out where the okay that dashboard's gonna need some work. Can tell you that already. It's the punch. <laughs> Blaming everything on the punch. It's like stuck. And I was trying to rush through here since I'm filming. Okay, so we're gonna move the tassel over a bit so we can see that cute bow out like that. Okay, and then normally over on this side, I will um, just add some of the, um, let me see if I can go over here real quick and get these, get a stack of these, because I like to add um, I think I pointed out last week too, that the only thing I'm not crazy about for these recollections is that it doesn't go down quite a bit so you have to kind of fold your pro I mean I like putting the reason I like putting project life cards over there is because it just seems like it holds my um, it holds these a little bit better the clips the cute clips you want to add for decoration I do use some of them but again I carry my planner with me so a lot of the times it is it's basically um, it's in in my purse you know in and out grabbing pulling out so I like to make sure I don't have any too many things hanging off so I'm just gonna come in here and add these little kitty cats add this clip I might add I'm gonna add one of these um, to where the monthly is so I can have a quick reference like that oh and you know what the cute little fuzzy one that came in the kit I just love that one again you know I'm such a messy crafter I tend to put things down there it is and then it's like where did it go where did it go so I'm gonna add it over on this to this side because it is just too cute 
Aren't they happy? Look how happy that is. Um, and then I have my washi sample. I'm going to add to the front here. I might update it um, again. It'd be fun to have all the black and white in there. And then this goes in my happy planner. I was hoping I could kind of fit it in here. I'm just really in love with all of this, um, the stickers that I recently purchased. But they just kind of go, like they have their washi strips in here as well. But it just kind of sits in there, but I don't think it's going to fit. This will be one that I just kind of carry around with me. Okay, so let me go back over here and add in the stuff I've been using this past week. Not changing it up too much, and there we add that. Now I wanted to kind of show you real quick on the Project Life cards. Adding them to your planner. So, let me clear some space here. So, oh, I also like these. Okay, let me focus here. But I like to add a Project Life like in here. And I'm going to do the cat phrase because it's just too cute. So I'm going to use, um, where's my, where's a guide? Let's use this punch now for the guide. So I'm going to use it and punch, get my single punch here. And mark it kind of in the middle here. Let's see here. Actually, I need about right here, so it fits in there. Mark it with the pencil here, and then come in and punch like that, and then add it. I just love that quote; it's so cute. And so that way, you have like a little cute little card. And then you know, sometimes I like to go in here and add like an inspirational thing. And I, that's one thing I like about. Um, uh, these quotes from uh, these quotes from Happy Planners is they have all the quotes. So I'm going to use put one of these on the back of it. That way I have a little quote on the back as well. All right, I want to add one one of these to it as well. These little bow bow tie clips they're so cute this was actually Hobby Lobby stepping up their game and um, they're starting to really have some cute stuff come out so I want to put one of these little bow ties in here as well I just think it's so cute like that okay maybe add another little clip here I'm going to do the meow one since I have Maggie on the front cover there so cute. Okay, so my kitty cat planner is all set up. I really like this kit. It's one of, I have to say, it's one of my favorites, of course, because it has my little kitties. Oh, and last but not least, I need to add my pen for the week. Where is my, where is the little pen? Again, me being a messy crafter over here, and I set everything to the side, it all becomes a jumbled mess. But I will add my Le Pen, and then we will be set to go, if I can find it. Okay, I will look for it later so I don't, oh here we go, so I don't prolong the video anymore. Just put it in there like that, and there we go. I'm all ready to go. All right, well thanks for stopping in and watching my setup to using my kit, and I will see you in my next video.